looking for this? Surprise! Fragile warped me here. I finally got to visit the beach. Well, her beach. Don't worry. I didn't come all this way for the sightseeing. Your beloved BB has a serious issue. You may recall me explaining that these incubators connect BBs via the chiral network to their still mothers back at HQ. Bridge babies are quite literally bridges between this world and the other side. Their place is not here with us, nor with the BTs over there. They belong precisely in between, with no greater affinity for one world or the other. But BB-28 here has been leaning further and further towards the world of the living. Towards you, sir. That's because we're partners. Hmm. Partners? Sam, a baby's a tool, not a human being. Bridge, yes. Baby, no. So tell me what the problem is. This tool, this weapon, is transforming into a living being. It's gaining weight. Its brain activity is increasing. It's accumulating memories. BB-28 is becoming self-aware, becoming an actual child. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. It's hardware, Sam. Manufactured for a purpose. A purpose that cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Which hardly matters, because at this point, it'll cease functioning within a couple of days. Cease functioning? That's right. Not even the pod will be enough. It'll be bricked. What do we do? We reset it. You'll have to leave it with me, of course. I'll cut the cord that links the two of you, and then perform an operation that reconnects it to the other side. Think of it as a little tug to correct its alignment. To put it back where it belongs, right between the world of the living and the dead. But like I said, you'll have to be without it for a while. You're sure this will work? <clears throat> of course. One catch, though. The surgery may erase its memories. Erase? Will it forget me? Relax. The BB will still function as intended. You just have to trust me. Come on. Uh, I'm telling you, it's like a game. Just select me, try, and start again! Uh. Oh. Uh. And this is why I hate these things. Uh. Uh. Sam. I was already filthy from my trip through the beach, but now your BB has added insult to injury.
one can spy on us in here. It's just you and me. No audio records of what we say. No video for lip reading analysis. Get closer. Die Hardman cannot know of this. Understood? I've been doing some digging into the first BP experiments. Officially, they were suspended by the government following a void out which claimed the life of the then acting president. Documents were shredded. BB technology banned, yes? But obviously, the experiments continued in secret on the direct orders of President Strand. Bridget? The BBs were essential to solving the mystery of the Death Stranding. Oh, she had big plans for them. They weren't designed just to be BT detectors. She wanted to incorporate them into the Cairo network to facilitate travel to the beach. But none of her plans ever came to fruition. And now BB Tech has fallen into terrorist hands. What's Die Hardman's part in this? I'm afraid to find out. I don't know how long he was working for Strand. I don't even know his real name or his face. I thought you might, since you two go further back. He was already wearing a mask when I met him. Something about burning his face. Brian, sorry. Any data we have from back then is classified at the highest level. As far as I know, the director is the only one with clearance. But the Cairo Network presents a new opportunity. By compiling fragmented data, in the public domain from all across the country. I might be able to piece together a little more of the puzzle. Be careful, Sam. They're watching. Well, Sam, you're a good sport. I'll give you that. Still, it's a fine way to get out of doing the laundry. <laughs> Just fix BB, all right? Oh, no. You'll be doing the fixing. I'd never manage without your help. <laughs> Check the delivery terminal upstairs for the details. When you're ready, of course. Dead man tells me your BB isn't performing to spec. We'll have to put your primary mission on hold until we restore its functionality. It's our only Dooms compatible unit. And you're gonna have to deal with more BTs as you head further west. Case in point, Emily's informed us of a tar belt outside of Edge Knot City. A massive region crawling with BTs that Higgs supposedly summoned. And as much as we want you to get her out as soon as possible, you'll have a snowball's chance in hell without your BB. So your first priority is to help Dead Man restore it to working order. And since he's on site, maybe the two of you can discuss it in person. Sam, I'm a little busy at the moment, so I hope you don't mind if we stick to Hunt. First, I need you to link up a few preppers in the area so we can increase local chiral density. That's to bolster the connection between BB-28 and its still mother. Then, as I explained earlier, we need to correct your BB's alignment. To facilitate that process, we need to quite literally put some distance between you two. Keep it here while we send you out. If everything goes to plan, your BB should resume normal function. Fortunately, this plan advances our other objectives. We want to integrate this region into the chiral network anyway. So build relationships with the preppers by making deliveries and convince them to come on board. It's not easy to make a home for yourself in those mountains. Even so, plenty of people had a mind to try. You'll find shelters scattered throughout. We've got a whole list of orders from them waiting to be processed. Remember, though, 
that you're dealing with folks who chose to live out there. Folks who probably value their privacy. Don't think for a second it'll be easy to win them over. You will have to earn their trust, bit by bit, job by job. Another thing, Sam. You'll be making runs without a BB for a spell. That will vastly diminish your ability to detect BTs. So keep your eyes and ears open for anything out of the ordinary. And stay the hell out of the rain if you can help it. Sam? You read me? Um, Lachna? Uh-huh. Calling you via a bridge's dedicated line. I've been asked to carry on in my sister's place and provide you with support. We're whole again. One. Forever and always. We still speak, so I shouldn't have any trouble getting up to speed. You back with Bridges then? It's not about that. Never was. It's about what she wants. What we want. And why shouldn't we help you? You helped us. We're all connected now. Thanks, Sam. Your deliveries have saved lives. And, as you know, every life that's saved is one fewer BT to deal with. Which in the long run means even more lives are saved. Please, don't give up. No matter how difficult it may become, I implore you. I see you've put another shelter on the network. Nice job. Chiral levels are increasing as predicted, which is good. As for BB-28, you'll be pleased to hear the operation went well. There should be no need for additional major procedures. We're not out of the woods yet, but I think it's safe to say that the worst is behind us. All that remains is to continue expanding the network, monitor changes as chiral levels increase, and make adjustments as necessary. Drug therapy should suffice. Keep it up, Sam. Very good, very good. Guess we're in this together now, Sam. I'd love to show you around the place, but... Thanks, Sam. BB-28 appears to be on the road to recovery. Its affinity with the other side is growing stronger, as we hoped. The convulsions and spasms have ceased as well. I know it's tough out there without a BB, but you've got to keep on fighting the good fight. Just like the kid is. Just like BB-28 is. Sam, we've received an order from a new client. Check the terminal in Mountain Knot City for the details, and do it soon. Sounds like someone is in need of medicine.
shared with us after you added the photographer's shelter to the network, along with her father's research materials. Anyway, my lab still doesn't have a high-speed chiral connection, but I was able to check one of the images against a database at HQ. Based on my preliminary calculations and the photographic and documentary evidence in our archives, I would estimate the paintings to be in the region of 30,000 years old, if not older. The artists were likely Neanderthals or other precursors who were migrating across the continent. See the dolphin-like creatures there? At the time, the cave would have been situated even farther from the coast than it is now. So how could the artists possibly have encountered dolphins? Answer? They couldn't. It is my belief that they had a brush not with dolphins, but with beach things. And that would mean the Death Stranding is not the first phenomenon of its kind, that it has happened before. Since the birth of our planet, countless species have gone extinct, from bacteria to dinosaurs. Scientists refer to the largest known mass extinctions as the Big Five. But there have, of course, been many other extinction events, albeit on a smaller scale. What if the artists were trying to document one such event, that of their own extinction? It would be the first record in Earth's history of a death stranding. And it would also lend credence to my theories. The sooner you come and connect me to the network, the sooner we'll know. Just imagine the mysteries we'll be able to solve. I'll be waiting, Sam. Wonderful news, Sam. BB-28's vitals are nearly within optimal operating parameters. Just before I called, it opened its eyes. It was looking all over, as if searching for someone. And then, our eyes met. For a moment, I think. I tell you, it was almost enough to make me want to keep the kid for myself. Anyway, I still need to run diagnostics and make adjustments as needed. However, the fluctuating local chiral levels could pose a problem. Think you can bring one more site into the network? Once you have, and once I have subsequently confirmed that BB is functioning reliably, I'll release it into your custody. This is the last step, I promise. Just one more sight, that's all we should need. Good luck. Sam, it's just like the one at South Knot City. A vortex loaded with so much chiralium that it's almost off the charts. Slowly but surely, it's creeping closer to us here in Mountain Knot. At least that's what I think, but I can't see it. Not with the naked eye. But the data doesn't lie. It's the same temporal phenomenon that you told me dropped you in a war zone. I told you. Uh, but that wasn't. The Cupid's Limiter can handle most Kairo spikes, but we didn't plan for another supercell. Another supercell? I told you it was the same as before. Mama, is that you? You got me, Sam. It's been a while. Not really. Malingan, Machna, we're the same. One body, one mind, one being. There's no point in trying to draw a distinction. Not in this world. We're all connected. Remember that. 